Hi, this is the first prototype of the breading machine. If you uh, enjoy the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more details. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hi there. So uh, this is the first prototype of the breading machine. As you can see, it's um, just a couple of gears uh, in a base plate. Um, the uh, gears are mounted on these bolts uh, with a little bushing so they can spin without being squashed by the um, by the nuts that hold it together. As you can see they spin reasonably freely when they're mounted. Um, although it is a bit um, clunky. So what we need to do is align the gears here um, just so that the uh, cups line up. And, uh, that's what transfers the shuttle between the two gears. And, uh, they can be a bit tight in places, but this is a fairly crude um, setup, especially how it's uh, how it's set in terms of a just a bush for a bearing. So now we uh, put a washer on and a nut on, and that's to hold the uh, gear down on the bushing. So that nut compresses the bushing, not the gear, so after we just nip it up slightly, um, that will still move underneath. Uh, it's got a tight spot there, but uh, it'll do for now. So there you go. Okay, so these are the olives. These are the inner parts of the track that the shuttle will run on. Um, so they need, the points need to line up and um, those points on both ends effectively describe a circle on the large machine. Um, but uh, hopefully that will be more obvious later. So we just need to secure this. It's important that those olives uh, have the right orientation. And um, it can be a bit tricky to do them up and keep it all in a line. But, uh, I need to do something better uh, for the next time I go through and redesign this. As you can see when you do them up they can move quite a bit and it can be really frustrating trying to get it set up. So uh, there you go, so that's it roughly in the right place. So as you can see the gears still both run and mesh and the cups are lining up. So that's good. Uh, so now we've got the outer parts of the track uh, and these sit on the pillars uh, on the bottom piece, the frame if you like just holding those on with screws. You might have noticed I had some little bits of double sided sticky tape from earlier practice runs. Um, so uh, yeah, so we just uh, whack in a couple of screws and uh, if I can get them in the right place uh, we just fix those down. So those, um, those pieces are the outer tracks, the olives are the inner tracks and the gap between them is where the shuttle will run being pushed along by a little peg that's on its bottom and um, that will engage with those cups that are on the uh, gears. And hopefully if it's all aligned properly the, uh, everything will run fine and we won't get any snagging or um, jamming uh, of the shuttle on the gears. This can be a little bit tricky on this first prototype. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit of a hack just to make sure that my ideas, so you go see we just made they tweak that all over into place, make sure that's all parallel and everything's moving freely. Yeah, that looks good to me. A little bit tight in a couple of places. Just uh, get that gear sitting flush and uh, put in the first of the shuttles. There we go. You can see they transfer nicely between the two um, wheels, although it's not so good all the time, but they're pretty good. So just run that through, run that one up and round the other side, make sure the other half of the track's running okay. So just again align it, slot it in its track, and um, run it through, and again, yeah, that seems okay. Lovely. Okay, so now let's get the other one and see if the two shuttles will pass each other okay in that crossover. And that's a bit of luck. There we go. So 
uh, that works. So that's the principle of how the uh, shuttles are going to uh, be driven. Uh, so that's kind of a good prototype. Let's um, look at redesigning that a bit and try and get some of the flaws out. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.